Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. A godly man, that he may avoid the evil, utterly renounces the companionship of evildoers, and will not be led by them. Verse 1. He walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, etc. This part of his character is put first, because those that will keep the commandments of their God must say to evildoers, Depart from us. Psalm 119, 115. And departing from evil is that in which wisdom begins. He sees evildoers round about him. The world is full of them. They walk on every side. They are here described by three characters, ungodly, sinners, and scornful. See by what steps men arrive at the height of impiety. Nemo repente fit terpissimus. None reach the height of vice at once. They are ungodly first, casting off the fear of God and living in the neglect of their duty to him. But they rest not there. When the services of religion are laid aside, they come to be sinners. That is, they break out into open rebellion against God and engage in the service of sin and Satan. Omissions make way for commissions, and by these the heart is so hardened that at length they come to be scorners. That is, they openly defy all that is sacred, scoff at religion, and make a jest of sin. Thus is the way of iniquity downhill. The bad grow worse. Sinners themselves become tempters to others and advocates for Baal. The word which we translate ungodly signifies such as are unsettled, aim at no certain end and walk by no certain rule, but are at the command of every lust and at the beck of every temptation. The word for sinners signifies such as are determined for the practice of sin and set it up as their trade. The scornful are those that set their mouths against the heavens. These the good man sees with a sad heart. They are a constant vexation to his righteous soul. But he shuns them wherever he sees them. He does not do as they do. And, that he may not, he does not converse familiarly with them. He does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. He is not present at their counsels nor does he advise with them. Though they are ever so witty and subtle and learned, if they are ungodly, they shall not be the men of his counsel. He does not consent to them, nor say as they say, Luke 23.51. He does not take his measures from their principles, nor act according to the advice which they give and take. The ungodly are forward to give their advice against religion, and it is managed so artfully that we have reason to think ourselves happy if we escape being tainted and ensnared by it. He stands not in the way of sinners. He avoids doing as they do. Their way shall not be his way. He will not come into it, much less will he continue in it, as the sinner does, who sets himself in a way that is not good. Psalm 36, 4. He avoids as much as may be, being where they are. That he may not imitate them, he will not associate with them, nor choose them for his companions. He does not stand in their way to be picked up by them. Proverbs 7, 8 But keeps as far from them as from a place or person infected with the plague, for fear of the contagion. Proverbs four fourteen and 15 he that would be kept from harm must keep out of harm's way. He sits not in the seat of the scornful. He does not repose himself with those that sit down secure in their wickedness and please themselves with the searedness of their own consciences. He does not associate with those that sit in close cabal to find out ways and means for the support and advancement of the devil's kingdom, or that sit in open judgment magisterially to condemn the generation of the righteous. The seat of the drunkards is the seat of the scornful. Psalm 69.12 Happy is the man that never sits in it. Hosea 7.5 
a godly man, that he may do that which is good and cleave to it, submits to the guidance of the word of God, and makes that familiar to him. Verse 2. This is that which keeps him out of the way of the ungodly, and fortifies him against their temptations. By the word of thy lips I have kept me from the path of the deceiver. Psalm 17.4. We need not court the fellowship of sinners, either for pleasure or for improvement, while we have fellowship with the word of God, and with God himself, in and by his word. When thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. Proverbs 6.22. We may judge of our spiritual estate by asking, quote, What is the law of God to us? What account do we make of it? What place has it in us? Unquote. See here. The entire affection which a good man has for the law of God. His delight is in it. He delights in it, though it be a law, a yoke, because it is the law of God, which is holy, just, and good, which he freely consents to, and so delights in, after the inner man. Romans 7, 16, and 22. All who are well pleased that there is a God must be well pleased that there is a Bible, a revelation of God, of His will, and of the only way to happiness in Him, the intimate acquaintance which a good man keeps up with the Word of God. In that law doth he meditate day and night, and by this it appears that his delight is in it, for what we love we love to think of. Psalm 119.97 to meditate in God's word is to discourse with ourselves concerning the great things contained in it, with a close application of mind, a fixedness of thought, till we be suitably affected with those things, and experience the savor and power of them in our hearts. This we must do day and night. We must have a constant habitual regard to the word of God as the rule of our actions and the spring of our comforts. And we must have it in our thoughts, accordingly, upon every occasion that occurs, whether night or day. No time is amiss for meditating on the word of God, nor is any time unseasonable for those visits. We must not only set ourselves to meditate on God's word morning and evening, at the entrance of the day and of the night, but these thoughts should be interwoven with the business and converse of every day, and with the repose and slumbers of every night. When I awake, I am still with thee.